WordPress versus Ghost. What's the difference between these two content management systems? Let's get to it. What's up everybody, my name is David. I hope you're having a great day. So I use WordPress and I use Ghost. I use WordPress on my main business websites and I use Ghost for my subscription website. So I have a really good understanding as to the difference between these two platforms. Broadly speaking, I would describe Ghost as a content management system with a strong focus on paid subscriptions, email marketing, and blogging. And it's really ideal if you wanna build an email newsletter type website or any type of subscription website. Whereas WordPress is more of a generalist content management system that has a lot of third party support that really allows you to build any type of website you want on top of WordPress. So anyways, let's get started covering the differences between these two platforms. Installation, oh boy, where to begin? So Ghost and WordPress are very similar in this regard in that they have a hosted version and a self-hosted version. So you can install Ghost on any web hosting account that you want, and I do have a tutorial video on how to do that on this channel that you can check out, but I don't recommend it for a beginner because it is a little bit technical which is why I always recommend ghost.org. It's actually what I use myself. I signed up to ghost.org and that's how I power my subscription revenue websites. And that's what I recommend for you unless you wanna get a little bit more tech savvy and sign up to DigitalOcean and install Ghost on your own server and go that's route. But again, it is a little bit technical and you're in charge of all the little aspects of Ghost behind the scenes, whereas with a ghost.org account, everything is just set up for you and it works out of the box. WordPress by contrast is the opposite where there's wordpress.com and wordpress.org. WordPress.com is the hosted version of WordPress and I really don't recommend it because it just it's just quite expensive and it has a lot of features that are locked behind a paywall that you get access to for a much cheaper price if you're willing to set up a shared hosting account and then install WordPress on your own. And WordPress has a one-click install so it's not too technical to set up yourself. So in short, with regards to installation, you can install Ghost on any shared hosting account that you want, and you can install WordPress on any shared hosting account that you want. But WordPress is much easier to install on a shared web hosting account, and it's much more cost effective. Whereas going with ghost.org is much more cost effective than installing Ghost on its own shared hosting account, if that makes any sense. Whereas WordPress is the opposite. Going with wordpress.com is much more expensive than using a shared hosting account. Themes and design. So both platforms come with their own custom themes that you can use. Now, which platform has more themes? Definitely WordPress. Again, you can build really any type of website you want on top of WordPress. And WordPress also has a wide range of page builders that you can leverage to really custom design the website to your liking. Or you can just hire a WordPress developer to build your own custom theme. Ghost by contrast has way fewer options with regards to themes and design. Now, of course, you can hire a developer to build your own custom Ghost website if you want. But for just looking at the portfolio of themes available with Ghost, it's not that many, but the themes are optimal for what the intended purpose of Ghost is, which is to run some type of email newsletter or paid subscription or blog. So overall, if you're looking for the platform that has more themes and design options, you're going to really like WordPress. But Ghost themes are quite good for their intended purpose. Blogging features. So both platforms are pretty similar in the sense that you can have H1, H2, H3 title tags. You can optimize the blog post for SEO. You have control over the metadata. You can add in a feature image. You can add in multimedia like videos and images and so forth. But with WordPress, what's really helpful is that you have a wide range of content blocks that you can use within your blog post to help design everything to your liking. You can also add in third-party blocks from other developers that add in additional features that you can add into your blog posts. Whereas with Ghost, you can't do that. What blocks you have are the blocks that you have and you can't really expand it to anything else. But that's not really to say like Ghost is bad because a lot of the blocks that Ghost has are pretty good and I'm quite happy with it. So two of my favorite blocks are one, the product recommendation box, which is something that WordPress doesn't come with natively, but you can get a workaround either designing a custom product box yourself or using a third-party plugin. You can also use an email-only content block within Ghost that I find incredibly helpful. So with Ghost, when you're writing a blog post, you can create content within these special boxes that are only viewable within an email client. That way, when you're ready and you publish your blog post, you'll have a publicly available blog post with all the content that you wrote, 
but then you'll have secret hidden content that's only accessible to anyone who reads the blog post in an email client. To me, that's a big deal because that's a unique selling point of Ghost and it's a unique selling point to get people to subscribe to your email list. Because remember, email marketing is built into Ghost in a way it's not built into WordPress. With WordPress, you have to use a third-party solution. So in short, blogging with both these platforms is very similar. WordPress, again, just has more functionality and flexibility because of third-party support but Ghost for what it is, is quite good. E-commerce, well, there's really no comparison here because Ghost is not designed for e-commerce. It's designed for creating a paid subscription website, an email newsletter, or a blog. Now, of course, you can create product boxes and then link out to other websites. So say you have a, an ebook on Gumroad or a course on Gumroad or Teachable or whatever, of course you can create a product box within Ghost and maybe create a basic sales page within a Ghost and link out externally but ghost.org doesn't support any type of e-commerce natively. By contrast, WordPress has access to WooCommerce, which allows you to build out a full-fledged online store where you can sell both physical and digital products, as well as take care of all the inventory management on the back end. I have another tutorial video on how to create an online store with WooCommerce and WordPress, links in the description. But overall, between Ghost and WordPress, if you're looking to build an online store, WordPress is the better option. SEO and ranking. So both platforms have good SEO and both platforms rank just fine within Google. So if you have a good web host and a well-designed WordPress website, your content's going to get indexed and rank just fine. Same thing with a ghost.org website. I haven't really noticed any major differences between my ghost.org powered website as well as my main business website with regards to being indexed and ranked within Google. Now, I would just say the primary difference between the two platforms is that WordPress has access to really high quality SEO plugins like Rank Math that give you a plethora of things that you can adjust on the back end of your website with regards to SEO. Whereas with ghost.org, you really don't have access to anything like that. It's really just cookie cutter, like edit the meta description and the title tags of your website, and that's pretty much it. Whereas with Rank Math, you have just a little bit more control over the on-page SEO of your website, as well as you get a bunch of helpful features on the back end, like 301 redirects and so forth. So in short, you don't need to worry about going with ghost.org compared to WordPress, because I know a lot of people wonder, like, is my website going to rank as well if I use ghost.org compared to WordPress? And my answer would be yes. Your site will rank just fine using ghost.org when compared to WordPress but WordPress has access to better SEO plugins that gives you more control over the on-page SEO of your websites. So one key difference that comes to mind is like the permalink structure of your website. With Ghost, everything is post title. So it's website.com slash post title. Whereas with WordPress, you have more flexibility. So you can have website.com slash blog slash post title or change that to website.com slash category slash post title. It is totally up to you. But with regards to on-page SEO rankings and getting organic search traffic, both platforms are fine. Email marketing. So this one is a massive difference between the two platforms. So with ghost.org, it has email marketing already built in. So with their basic plan, you can have 500 email subscribers and you can send as many emails as you want to your subscriber base. The way you send an email is that you write a blog post and then when you're ready to publish that blog post, you can either choose to publish the blog post on your website, publish the blog post and email it to your list or just email it to your list. So functionally with ghost.org, you can send broadcast emails whenever you want. So that's ideal if you're looking to create some type of like newsletter oriented website, maybe like the weekend warrior <laughs> newsletter that goes out every Sunday. You could do something like that and you just want to send out broadcast emails. You're going to really like ghost.org. But with WordPress, you don't have email marketing built into the platform. You have to use a third party solution like ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign. So it really just depends on what you're trying to do. If you want to create an email autoresponder sequence and a complicated email funnel to sell products and services, Services, you're going to be a lot happier going with WordPress and an email marketing software. Whereas with Ghost, you don't have access to autoresponders or any type of email funnel. Everything is just a broadcast email, but Ghost does come with some specific email only blocks that you can take advantage of. Like they have a specific email promotion box that you can take advantage of to help sell a product or service or maybe upgrade people to a paid subscription. And like I mentioned previously, you have that email only block that hides content that's only available in an email client. Subscription revenue. So you can do subscription revenue with both platforms actually, but with WordPress, you have to use a third-party solution. Whereas with ghost.org, everything is built in for one low price. So with one low price, you get a blogging platform, 
email marketing, and the opportunity to offer a paid subscription. But if you're using WordPress and you have to use something like ConvertKit and then offer a paid subscription with ConvertKit. So you can achieve the same outcome with both platforms, but Coast.org is a little bit more cost effective simply because everything is built in for one low price. And last is affiliate marketing. So both platforms you can do affiliate marketing on because that's what's great about Ghost.org and WordPress that they are both open source content management systems. It's your websites. Where WordPress has the advantage though is that it allows you to cloak affiliate links using various plugins like Pretty Links. Now I know cloaking affiliate links sounds like really sketchy or weird. It's not, it's a standard industry practice. All it is is that it allows you to transform a long, ugly URL into something that's a little bit more clickable and trustworthy. So a great example is that I'm an affiliate for SiteGround. So what I can do is I can take that long affiliate link from SiteGround and transform it into davidukecom slash SiteGround. Not only is that link shorter and more clean and easy to understand, it's also more clickable and the end user understands where they're going to end up. Not only that, Pretty Links and software like Pretty Links actually gives you actionable data on the back end, like how many times people have clicked on your URL so you can kind of understand the click through rates as well as your conversion for your affiliate marketing efforts. You can just get more data that's quite useful to help make a business decision. Whereas with ghost.org, there's no way to cloak affiliate links. You just got to use the raw URL. So that's really the primary difference between the two platforms. You can do affiliate marketing on both platforms. You can put affiliate links on your ghost.org powered website as well as your WordPress website, but because of various plugins that WordPress offers, you get more actionable data on the back end. So if I had to pick and I'm trying to build out an affiliate website, I would go with WordPress over Ghost. All right, everyone, that's it for this video on WordPress versus Ghost. What are the differences, the pros and cons? Why would you go with WordPress over Ghost or Ghost over WordPress? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got value out of it. If you did, consider subscribing and hit that like button. My name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.